Hello fellow vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there, hope you're well and welcome to another video. So today is all about the 4BL Anomaly. I think that's what we'll call it, the 4BL Anomaly. So, what you see in front of you is one of my latest pickups, which is a Waferer 5022 with G15 mirrored lenses. Just give you a little looky looky right here. As you can see. Now, as I turn the glasses round, you can see the BL etching on the top of the lens in the middle. There and there. And there is also a BL etching in the normal place, which is on the side there and on the side there. This is the 4BL etching. The etchings are all correct in their four parts. But what do you think of that? Do you think these are fake? Do you think these are genuine? Or do you not have any clue whatsoever because you've never seen it before and it's like, oh my god. So, there you have it. Now, my opinion, actually my theory, my theory, and I am probably completely wrong about this. So don't take this as gospel. This is just my own personal theory, okay? I think these lenses for whatever reason were re-etched now I've had a look at my other sunglasses now the etchings on the side are in keeping with every other etch in all my other sunglasses in terms of size in terms of thickness in terms of style as well okay however the etching on the top are not. They are thicker um, and they are of a different style to the rest of my sunglasses except for one. And, and it's only um, when you compare these two etchings you can see a little bit of a similarity so I'll show you what I'm talking about now so as you saw there that was one of my early BL2 which are shade green 2 lenses okay so it has the BL2 stamping at the 12 o'clock now in terms of thickness they are the same to this. However, in terms of style, they are different. So, if we are going to say that these are genuine, I mean, these glasses are genuine. There's no doubting about that because the etching on the actual um, lenses where they're supposed to be is in keeping with all of my other sunglasses, okay? It's just, why has the two extra 12 o'clock etches being applied. So, what I'm thinking is that whoever has etched these two 12 o'clock markings has used an old machine. Now, maybe I came across a story on Facebook that one of the theories for the 4BL in aviator lenses was because of um, what was happening in the Vietnam War where the American army decided to essentially create a black market for Ray-Ban sunglasses. So taking that story and bringing it into the 1990s, I'm wondering whether or not the 4BL, particularly with these glasses, were a 
indication that maybe there was some sort of um, underground market happening somewhere in the world where a particular um, distributor had to protect had to protect his side of the business or had to protect his business so basically maybe him re-etching these lenses um, created that division between what was an official distribution within a particular market compared to an unofficial underground black market distribution within that particular uh, area. All of this is just theory. Um, so, because I just, I just cannot understand why you would add extra re-etches onto an already genuine pair of lenses and a you know a genuine pair of sunglasses there is just absolutely no point whatsoever unless it's to do with money they always they always say follow the money you know create that story create that uh, anomaly um, create that mystery so basically somebody sees 4BL and automatically think well this is rare I'm going to pay a little bit extra it's it's a funny way of looking at things and how how in you know it's a funny way of how to um, to add extra dollars onto a particular item sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, for me I don't see the point particularly when you have an already genuine pair of lenses but um, but basically what we have is 4BL we have proper etchings where they're supposed to be we have thicker etchings on the top which I'm thinking is from um, an older machine because I have an etching like this which is just a thick but it's from um, a, a different era um, and it could be to do with the black market within a particular part of the world um, so that's my theory if you have another theory that you would like to share with the community then please make a comment in the in the in the comment section below and um, and you know we can have a, a little discussion um, about about it and uh, even if somebody actually knows the reason behind it, you know, please make a comment down below. It'll be good to hear from you. Uh, so there you go, folks. Here is my latest pickup, um, b &L Ray-Ban Waferer with G15 mirror, 4BL etching. Peace. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.